Okay, so hi y'all, it's Tiffany. Um, sorry about my lighting situation today. The lighting in my apartment is crap. I'm working on it. I wish I could afford an old ring light like people on YouTube, but here we are. <laughs> um, so yeah, usually when I'm on camera, I'm complaining about dialysis or patients having a fit in dialysis or just in general something to do with dialysis because dialysis really kind of fucks up my week a lot. But this does not have to do with um, dialysis. I'm sorry if I look a little wool gathered. I've been kind of sick the last few days. I'm making a lot of excuses for you people. But um, yeah, <laughs> it is what it is. I can't help that I got sick. And I still don't know what has me sick. I'm just trying to do this in between throwing up. So <laughs> let's hope I can get this done. All right, what I want to talk about is while everything else around me is usually a mess, what happens in dialysis, whether or not I'm sick, um, how I respond to medications, whatever, is a toss-up. But one thing that I'm usually typically sure about is my makeup. Um, I hate that the light is so crap. Oh, if I, if I knock this expensive ass and lamp over I will scream <laughs> but yeah it but for me my makeup routine is usually one and done I know what I'm going to do um you know I mean it's not really the only thing I can really mess up is my eyeshadow because that's basically the only thing that changes from day to day is whatever colors I decide to put on my eye. It, it's, it can't really be seen right now, but I have brown and burgundy on my eye at the moment. Let me see. If we can do that. I am not holding this laptop like this the whole video. <laughs> um, but yeah. But for me, like I say, my makeup is something that is something I don't even really think about unless I have something important to do. Like, just in general, me going to dialysis back and forth. Yeah, I need 30 minutes to do my face, but, I mean, it's not something that I would particularly stress out about. Now, yesterday was a complete and utter fucking disaster. <laughs> With my makeup and... I had absolute, well, yeah, I had some sort of control over it. I let this disaster unfold. <laughs> and the thing is, I saw the disaster happening in real time, and I didn't have enough time to completely scrub my face and start over from scratch. I basically had to slap my shit together and just hope for the best, which was basically the worst. Um, Let me explain. Now... The most important thing to me with my makeup, I don't care what I'm putting on, you know, what type of foundation, what type of eyeshadow, whatever. The first thing that hits my face is a primer. And because I have combo skin, my nose likes to run oil like the Exxon Valdez, and the rest of my face is dry like the Sahara Desert. I usually opt for a matte foundation and a matte primer. And usually, this is the primer I use, which is Hard Candy Mattifying Primer. And this is clear. It, it, it looks slightly white when you take it out, but when you rub it, see, it disappears, and it just turns into you know, a clear base for you to put your makeup on and for it to be smooth with. Okay, now when I don't have access to that, I usually use this e.l.f. one minimize, I mean, mineral infused one, poreless primer. Now as you can see, it's white in the bottle and it comes out and applies clear. So, this next primer that I got, I didn't pay for this. E.l.f., when you spend $25 or more per order and they ship stuff to you you get like a gift and part of my gift 
was this abomination, which is an illuminating face primer. And I just want you to look at the difference in the two bottles. They're the same size, same amount. You can see this one is definitely a different color than this. And the day before I put this on, so day before yesterday, before I put this on, I took special time out of my day to go on YouTube to buy, because I thought it looked pretty damn gold in the bottle. Um, I took my time to go find black makeup artists with skin color close to mine trying out this particular thing, which retails for about, I think, 6 or $8. Don't spend this. Don't spend your money on this. You do better setting the money on fire. Do not buy this. You can buy this. This is fine. You can buy this. This is, I think, $8 also at Walmart. It's fine. That's my endorsement. Don't buy this. You see this? Run. Um, so, the one girl that I watched do her makeup, really pretty girl, about my skin color, and she said, Oh, it's very gold coming out of the, you know, coming out of the, out of the bottle. So I said, okay, so it's really gold. So I was like, okay, it's just going to give me a glow to my skin, which is what she said. I watched two or three different videos. They all said it gives a glow. It gives a glow. And all of their makeup looked really good at the end. So I said, okay, I'm going to put this on in the morning and go to dialysis and do my day and whatever. Oh boy, hell. I got in the bathroom and you know, cleaned my face before I put the makeup on and everything. And I my, the way I usually do my primer is I do across my forehead, on my eyelids, down my cheeks, chin, nose, and, you know, blend it over the skin and down my neck. Because that's how I put my foundation on afterwards. I put that on and immediately, immediately, my face was gold. When I say my face was gold, I look like that one James Bond character. You know how they have the urban legend going around, how the girl painted herself gold and died because she couldn't breathe or something? That That's what the fuck I look like. I look like that. I look like Michael Jackson's history, you know, go pants off. I mean, I was fucking gold. And it was gold glitter. Gold glitter. All over my face, all over, everywhere. I even had gold glitter in my eyebrows. And, you know, I pushed this shit on and I looked at my hands. And my hands were gold. My hands were completely, my palms were completely gold glitter. And it literally, how I got it off, I had to use a facial cleanser, my face cleanser, to get the crap off my hands just so I could do the rest of my makeup. So, okay. I use a pretty, I use what they call a full coverage prime, I mean full coverage foundation. This is Romo Stay Matte. Um... Usually when I put this on, I don't have to really even use a concealer for my under eyes if unless I just feel like being extra that day and using it. I put that on, and I said, okay. Now, I sat back with the sponge standing about maybe like how I am from the camera, dabbing my face, getting this blended out and everything. I could still kind of see that f and glow but i was like okay this is match this is going to cover it all everything's gonna be fine all right so i grabbed my eyeshadow and you know i powdered up because i always do my face powder after my foundation to set it so i grabbed my my little thing here to do my eyeshadow which has, if I can get the damn thing open, which has a mirror. So I can get close to my eye. I dip to start doing my transition shade. And I go to my eye with it and I damn near shit a break. Because I look 
and through the thick foundation, my foundation is pretty thick, through the thick foundation, through the layer of powder that I put on, I can still see gold glitter everywhere. How did it seep through my foundation? How did it seep through the goddamn powder? Which is a matte powder, a mattifying powder. Everything is supposed to be matte under this. And it wasn't. It, it, it was gold. It was gold. I was gold. And I was just like, I can't do this. I can't take this off and start from scratch. And we will get into the process it took for me to get this off my face in a minute. Um, I had to, I said, okay, since everything else is glittery, I'm going to just do matte everything. I did matte eyeshadow, matte blush. Um, where is it? I have my blush here that I used out of this. You can see where I hit pan on it. That's a matte pink blush. Like, everything was matte. I even did matte lip color. Everything was matte. And I blend pretty well. I'm not saying I should be a makeup artist or anything, but, you know, I don't look like crap generally when I get done doing my makeup. Um, I'm blending my heart out. I'm packing on as much eyeshadow as I can. This gold shit is still bleeding through. I have to draw on my eyebrows because I have crappy eyebrows because I got tweets a happy once. <laughs> it was the 90s. It was a crazy time. Um, my eyebrows were gold. It wasn't like, oh, some of the glitter got into my eyebrows. No, it had coated the hairs of my brows. So I kind of looked like I had blonde eyebrows. So I had to stand extra long, take twice as long, to re-darken eyebrows that are already black because my natural hair color is black. Um, you know, I'm just basically almost crying because it looks so awful. It just looked like I took liquid highlighter and just smeared it all over my That's basically what this should be used for if you want to fucking use it. Just spotlight some certain areas. Spotlight certain areas. And honestly, I never use a liquid highlighter. I use powdered highlighter all the time. This is one of my highlighter palettes, which you can see how very little I use it because these are barely touched. And I've had this over a year. I've barely touched into these because they're highly pigmented. But if I use highlighter, I'm going on my cheekbones. Maybe my forehead to make it look larger because I have a short ass forehead. Thanks, mom. My nose and maybe my chin. And that's if I'm being extra. Uh, dialysis doesn't get all of this treatment. So, I'm gold. I look like the fucking Oscar statue. I spent a bad day in dialysis yesterday because I actually got sick in dialysis, but I managed to finish the treatment. Came home, threw up, and, you know, I went to bed. Here's where Nuni comes into it. I went to bed. I wasn't even thinking about my face or my makeup when I came in because I felt so poorly. I was just like, you know, I told my friend who I usually chat with every day, you know, I got to lay down. I got to sleep. I'll be back in a couple hours. Set my alarm for two hours later. Went to sleep. Now, I can do this now because I have regular makeup on. It's not going to come off on her. But when I went to sleep, I slept with her like this, which is basically how I sleep damn near every night with her, which I know looks funny because I'm an adult, but this is how I sleep, so get over it, but I slept like this, and, you know, I got up some time later, and I still wasn't feeling so great, I was sick again, and as I'm leaning over the basin, I look into the mirror, and I'm like, oh, fuck, I'm gold. And I even tweeted out at some point, I said, you know, I wonder if I left a mark on Nudie. So I went into my room, picked her up off the bed. Damn sure there was a circle of sheer gold on her head, which I had to sit 
and take makeup remover to get off her head. Um, yeah, I actually had to sit and I couldn't just, I tried to just wipe it off with a towel. Nothing. I had to go use my actual makeup remover for human skin on plastic to get, to get it off. Now, I said, I'm sick of this. I said, let me get this shit off my face. Now, normally for me, depending on how lazy I am, I will else use this, which basically strips everything off like that. Or caress soap, you know, which is what I usually bathe with. Um, because this was, I saw how it wouldn't move off of Nuni's head. I used, um, I don't even know where it, here it is, Cetaphil. As kind of like, this is a moisturizer, as kind of like a cold cream to break it up at first. And, you know, I cold cream my whole face. So it would break up the makeup and the gold shit. <laughs> and I wiped it off. And then I went in twice. Twice with this. I never have to do it twice. But twice with this, my face was feeling like sandpaper. And it was still glowing. It was still gold. This was the nightmare that kept on giving. <laughs> Felt like the guy in Groundhog's Day. So, I took Caress soap and washed my face. Now, this is third washing, third cleansing. I'm still blowing like Michael Jackson's glove. So, I'm like, what the hell am I going to have to do to get this off? And, I mean, I'm using a towel and scrubbing. And at one point, my forehead started bleeding because <laughs> I scrubbed so hard. I say, okay, I have a stringent. Which, under any normal circumstances, after that kind of washing, that kind of cleansing, you don't want astringent to go on your face. Because if it does, it just feels like the bowels of hell has opened up and started burning your face. <laughs> I went into my room, got a cotton pad, an exfoliating cotton pad so it was rough, <laughs> and started with wild abandon, rubbing my face in front of my fan, so that if it started burning, the cold wind from the fan would kind of quell it, but I'm standing there rubbing and cursing and trying to get it off. Finally, I got it all off, and my face was so tight, I can't even tell you. Like, nobody's skin is supposed to feel like this after a cleansing. It felt like I was trying to scrub a demon out of my face or something. And, you know, I was just fit to be tied. I mean, I just, and I, my face is still kind of broken out from that disaster. Like, my chin is broken out. I have, like, a couple of little, it's just, it's not pretty. Um, But I'm not using this ever again. <laughs> never, never, never again is this going on my face. Like, don't I don't know who thought this was a good idea. If you want your face to glow, um, drink a lot of water, <laughs> sleep well, eat well, um, use highlighter that you can fucking control with a fan brush or a sponge or something. Don't do this, because this is like just jumping into glitter. <laughs> like, yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Do not get this. You need a primer. Use something that looks clear like this, something that goes on clear, this. They, I use a different one, another one um, from Hard Candy, which is called like a 12-hour thing. It comes out beige, but it doesn't have any color to it. You smooth it on. It doesn't show. Once you put your makeup on over it, it's fine. Just don't ever in your life buy this. I'm glad that this was a freebie because if I would have bought this, I would be tied up with customer service cussing them out right about now. So yeah, just don't 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 do that. <laughs> don't don't do it. So yeah. Um that's it for me. I'm still not feeling so great. Um 
I'm going to have to try to find something that I can keep down. So, fingers crossed on that pursuit. Okay, that's it for me. <laughs> All right, bye-bye. <laughs>